the December novices chase is next then and small field for this one as well and this one's over three miles and it's a grade two the top one is Bilbo Baggins for Craig Allen good time in Ryan Salasemi horror of the clowns Josh Westland, Altona, Dan Hughes, Junk in the Trunk Ages, David Robertson, Large Moon, Jim Murray, and Nuclear, Leon Van Rensburg. So just seven this time. And rain still coming down. And calling and away they go. As they make their way towards the first of the 18 fences that they want to negotiate in this race. And Horror of the Clowns. Is the first one to show. On Large Moon and Nuclear with the grey junk in the trunk ages between them. The second of the greys is at the back. That's Altona making its debut today as they get to the first. And the leader went straight through the top of that. And we saw two leaders fall in the previous race. So maybe the position you don't want to be in this week is in the lead. Because we saw quite a few other ones in the week in the lead falling. So it's Horror of the Clowns who is in the lead at the moment. And gets over the third one. Jumped that one much nicer than jumped the first one. So Horror of the Clowns is the leader. Bill Bob Baggins is about five lengths back in second. As they get to that ditch, slow jump this time was by Nuclear. Good timing is on the outside of the grey. Junk in the trunk ages and large moon. The Jim Murray horse is back in about sixth place, and the one that's just finding it all a bit too much at the minute is Altona. And that one is making its debut in a grade two event. So too much of a surprise to see it struggling to go the pace early on but it's not that far behind as they get to number five which they're all over nicely and horror of the clowns leads into this ditch which they're all over again and horror of the clowns is good four or five clear of good time in second they're well strung out already They've still got more than two miles to go of the clams is five lengths clear of good timing in second that one's got three lengths on Bilbo Baggins and Junk in the Trunk Ages in Nuclear and there's another three length gap to Large Moon and then a much more sizable gap back to Altona here's the back marker racing down towards this next one then so take that one nicely. Uh, we're just going to see them all over it. Yep, I'll turn those over it nice enough at the back. And into the next. That was the eighth of the 18. And this one will be the ninth. That's the midway point in the jumping. And that'll be the last on the next circuit, I would think, as we see them from the top of the stand. See the big screen. And they go past the winning post and they're going to swing out left handed shortly and for a full circuit of the track. Altona's not that far behind. And Horror of the Clowns is almost joined now by a good time. Gap of 10 lengths then to Bilbo Baggins and Junk in the Trunk Ages and then Nuclear and Large Moon. And then a gap of probably. Ooh, 25 30 lengths to Altona, who's the back marker. The horror of the clans in good timing. 10 lengths clear of junk in the trunk ages as they get over the 10th. A mistake there by Bilbo, Bilbo Baggins. And Large Moon, nuclear moving up on the outside as they get to the 11th. And Large Moon's moving into third. So Nuclear's moving into third. So they get to the twelfth. And there's a fall on there. Junk in the Trunk Ages is gone. So Junk in the Trunk Ages is out of the race. So Altona only needs one more to fall. And we'll be in the money. And so over that one they go. And good timing on the outside of Horror of the Clowns. It's probably just in the lead now. They're still ten minutes up on Nuclear. Bilbo Baggins and Large Moon who are racing together. And Altona is somewhere adrift. towards the next they go horror of the clowns on the inside good timing nearest to us gap of 10 lengths then back to nuclear bill by baggins and large moon 
Turner had a shot as they get over that ditch. That was a 15th. We might see how far back old Turner is now. Just getting further back, to be honest. Well, there we go. 30 lengths at least, maybe 40. But it's Horror of the Clowns in the lead. Good time in his second. And uh, Nuclear is trying to run on in third. But they're well strung out, aren't they? What? Eight mile chases and three mile chases, and Horror of the Clowns is in the lead. Good time in his second. Nuclear is third. Bilbo Baggins is fourth. And Large Moon, fifth, and Altona, sixth. They're racing downhill now then towards the final three fences and Horror of the Clans, but Nuclear is the one that's in hot pursuit. Good timing, looks beaten now. Bilbo Baggins is trying to run on, but he's got a lot of ground to make up. And over that third last they went there, and Horror of the Clans is clearing the lead. Jockey keeping it up to its work though. Comes into the second last, pops over that nice. He does not like slowing down. Nucleus dropped out a little bit now, and good time. He's starting to run on again, but with just a little more than a furlong to go. One fence to take over it goes. Horror of the Clans, it'll be an absolute miracle if they catch this. And up towards the line inside the final furlong, really. We well, really need to up towards the line yet. It's half a furlong still to go, but Horror of the Clans has won this pretty easily, really. Now we can step towards the line. Horror of the Clowns takes it from Nuclear in second, good time in third, Bilbo Baggins in fourth. Big gap back to Large Moon, and then an even bigger gap back to Altona. So a bigger gap we're not going to see, but you can look down the track and you can see almost a fence behind. But we've got round anyway, so Horror of the Clowns takes it. Pretty uneventful race, to be honest. Joshua Sutherland won't mind, it's another one in the book. Towards wrestling that title back from the man he's just beaten in second, Leon van Rensburg. So, Horror of the Clans takes it for Joshua Sutherland. Nuclear second for Leon van Rensburg. Good time in Ryan Tamasebi third. Bill Wyomaggins for Craig Allen was fourth. And Large Moon for Jim Murray was fifth.